Welcome back to a proverb a day keeps the police away. I'm Robert and today we're diving into Proverbs chapter 7. This chapter is a strong warning about staying away from temptation and not letting ourselves be led astray. In recovery, temptation is one of the biggest hurdles that we face. So let's dive into this chapter and see what kind of wisdom we can pull out to help us on our journey. So let's get started. Proverbs chapter 7. Here we go. Dear friend, do what I tell you. Treasure my careful instructions. Do what I say and you'll live well. My teaching is as precious as your eyesight. Guard it. Write it out on the back of your hands. Etch it on the chambers of your heart. Talk to wisdom as to a sister. Treat insight as your companion. They'll be with you to fend off the temptress, that smooth-talking, honey-tongued seductress. As I stood at the window of my house looking out through the shutters, watching the mindless crowd stroll by, I spotted a young man without any sense, arriving at the corner of the street where she lived, then turning up the path to her house. It was dusk, the evening was coming on, the darkness thickening into night. And just then, a woman met him. She'd been lying in wait for him, dressed to seduce him. Brazen and brash she was, restless and roaming, never at home. Walking the streets and loitering in the mall, hanging out at every corner in town, she threw her arms around him and kissed him boldly, took his arm and said, I've got all the makings for a feast. Today I made my offerings, my vows are all paid, so now I've come to find you, hoping to catch sight of your face, and here you are. I've spread fresh, clean sheets on my bed, colorful imported linens, my bed is aromatic with spices and exotic fragrances. Come, let's make love all night and spend the night in ecstatic lovemaking. My husband's not home. He's away on business, and he won't be back for a month. Soon, she has him eating out of her hand, bewitched by her honeyed speech. Before you know it, he's trotting behind her like a calf led to the butcher shop like a stag lured into ambush and then shot with an arrow, like a bird flying into a net, not knowing that its flying life is over. So friends, listen to me. Take these words of mine most seriously. Don't fool around with a woman like that. Don't even stroll through her neighborhood. Countless victims come under her spell. She's the death of many a poor man. She runs a halfway house to hell, fits you out with a shroud and a coffin. And friends, that's the end of chapter seven there. This really paints a vivid picture though of temptation and how easy it is to be seduced by it. The verse with her smooth talk she entices him really hits home for me. I know we've all been there, whether it's addiction or just bad habits. The pull of those things can really be strong, and the excuses that we make for ourselves can sound convincing. This chapter is a reminder that we need to be on guard and not let the short-term temptations destroy the long-term progress that we're making. The thought for the day, are you keeping your guard up when it comes to the things that tempt you the most? In recovery, it's important to know where your weak spots are and then have a plan for when temptation hits. So what's your game plan today to avoid getting pulled off track? Having a plan in place for when temptation strikes is really one of the best tools that we have in recovery. It's never about avoiding every challenge, but it is about knowing how to face it with strength. The quote of the day today, temptation usually comes in through a door that has deliberately been left open. And that's by Arnold Glasow. You know, temptation doesn't sneak up on us as much as we'd like to think it does. A lot of times we know what we're doing when we let those doors crack open. The key is to recognize when we're about to walk into trouble and slam that door shut. Imagine you're trying to save some money, but you just keep browsing online for things that you don't need. 
Then you get hit with a sale notification and next thing you know, you got a full shopping cart. That's happened to me a few times. <laughs> and that is exactly what Proverbs 7 is warning us about. Sometimes temptation is as simple as putting ourselves in the wrong situation and then telling ourselves it's harmless when we truly know better. So what's one area of your life where you're most tempted? How do you close the door on it before it leads you down a path that you don't want to go? And friends, that is it for today's proverb. So thanks for joining in to a proverb a day. Keeps the police away. If today's chapter hit home at all for you, make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, maybe drop a comment with your thoughts. I always love to hear how you're keeping temptation at bay in your life. So join me tomorrow for another chapter as we keep moving forward together. I'll see you soon.